Welcome to this first training video for the Learning Collocations Collection in Flax. In this video, I'll be taking you through different options for searching for collocations. We'll discuss a little bit later on about what a collocation is. We'll be looking at different ways for comparing across corpora to see how phrases and collocations are used in different contexts, including speaking and writing contexts as well as academic contexts and more general English language contexts. We'll be looking at three different corpora in particular, the British National Corpus, or the BNC, the British Academic Written English Corpus, or the BOR, and Wikipedia as a corpus. Okay, let's begin. So here we are at the homepage of the FLAX language learning website. And we're going to start off in this section, which is the FLAX resource collections area. And in particular, we're going to start off with this collection, which is called Learning Collocations. So let's just click here and go inside. So what are collocations? Well, collocations are words that go together. And when you're learning English, it's really important to know exactly how native speakers of English are putting words together in their speaking and in their writing. So as I mentioned before, we're going to look at three, going to take a look at three different corpora within this collection to show how words are collocating in different contexts of use. So we have the British National Corpus, which is a large reference corpus, and this is made up of both um, examples of speaking and writing. Uh, we've also got the BOR, Corpus. This stands for the British Academic Written English Corpus, and this corpus is made up of student-generated texts from UK universities, and students have been writing across the disciplines to show the different types of writing um, that are expected at university level. We've also got uh, Wikipedia, which is a human crowdsourced corpus, and as you know, this takes the form of encyclopedia entries on universal topics. Okay, so let's let's put a word into the search panel. Um, okay, so let's let's choose this word photograph, and we're going to look for photograph in the British National Corpus to see how it collocates. Okay, so what Flax does is it links a lot of different resources together to give you this super resource. So you're going to have a lot more examples of language, authentic language, than you would find in the average textbook, or even in a dictionary. Okay, so let's take a look here. We've got the word photograph used as a verb. So immediately we have these collocations such as beautifully photographed, uh, bother to photograph something. And you'll notice as you hover over these collocations, you have the grammatical pattern to help you. So here we've got verb plus two plus photograph. Okay, and um, we've also got below here related collocations. Um, so when the word photograph comes up in a text, it's quite often accompanied by um, the word folder, photo, sleeve, negative, scratch and so on. So this is looking at collocations across texts and not necessarily words that are right next to each other. Now we've also got definitions taken from Wikipedia and if you want to you can go and take a look at this word in the Wiktionary. Okay so that's deeper definition level information and also we've got related topics in Wikipedia. So for example the word camera, so you can hover over this word um, to get a quick insight into the meaning of this word, or you can actually click on the word and this takes you to the word within the same collection. So let's go back to the word photograph, and at the top here, um, usefully, Flax has uh, grouped this word into its word family. So we've got photography, photographs, photographing, photographers, and these are all hyperlinked so you can uh, visit inside this collection to get a sense of how these words are being used um, 
around um, different collocations. So for example here we've got freelance photographer. If we click inside we're going to get even more examples of this pattern. So we've got freelance photographer, press photographers, fashion photographers, woman photographers and so on. And you can click even deeper um, to get examples um, from context of how these words are being used in the B and C. Okay we can go up here to Wikipedia and see how the word photographer is appearing in the Wikipedia corpus. And so we have different examples of language um, here, um, but also on the same topic area that we're searching for. Let's take a look in the board. Remember this is student writing, so um, there's a lot less in terms of examples of students having written about photographers, but perhaps they've been writing about photograph, yes, a little bit more. Uh, we can also click here for synonyms related to the word photograph. Uh, there's lots of examples here using the verb as well as the noun form. And once again, you can click on these hyperlinks. Um, so for example, the word snap is now um, coming up here in the Flux collection. So all in all, uh, a super linked resource, giving you a lot of different examples of the language and you can link around and build up your knowledge of how this phrase or phrasing works in actual authentic situations where English is used. Okay, so that's all for this first um, introduction to the Learning Collocations collection.